I really feel like in particular with myself and Josh and Kristen and Adina, there is, we're different from our characters obviously, but there's also kind of an innate similarity with the, the characters that we play on ourselves in real life. And there's this, we all know each other's like strengths, we all know each other's vulnerabilities, and we all at, in a very base level have a deep respect and love for each other. So getting to spend time with each other, making the movie and promoting the movie has been really fun because it's, it, it really, it feels like family. We've all kind of grown up together. We all do things separate from each other, but this, this experience bringing us together, it feels really special to be with this particular group of people. Frozen 2 uh, takes place in Arendelle, which is where the first movie took place. And everything seems to be going well in Arendelle, but then Elsa hears this voice that's calling her out of the walls of the city. And our characters from the first movie go on a journey and an adventure together to discover information about Elsa and Anna's past. I'm so excited. I actually get to sing in Frozen 2. They gave me a song that is an incredible, incredible song, and it's called Lost in the Woods. It's like an 80s inspired jam, which I never would have anticipated uh, being written in Frozen 2, uh, but makes so much sense when I heard it and found out what was... It's, it's, in, it's in a way kind of like Kristoff's let it go moment because he's got these feelings for Anna. He's sort of a dude. He doesn't really express himself that often. And so in a sort of fantasy sequence, Sven speaks to him actually and invites him to express his feelings and Kristoff kind of lets his hair down and releases his emotions in this brilliant sort of song in the style of an 80s ballad. Each song is crafted for a specific moment in the, in the story. I think that part of what makes them really special and what elevates them is that they don't want to just write a great song. They want to, they want to write a great song that services a bigger overarching story. And so you're getting really great melodies and really funny and clever and moving lyrics, but more than anything, it's there to service the whole. And so the songs that they write, that they have written for Frozen 2, because it's the, the story is more expansive and it's deeper and it's richer, therefore the music gets to take on those qualities as well and i think it created a really nice opportunity and palette for kristen and bobby to kind of spread their wings a little bit what makes this adventure in frozen 2 exciting i feel like there's two things the first thing is we're going outside of arendelle and exploring some larger bigger more elemental themes uh, as opposed to just in the this sort of like small community of Arendelle, so the world is expansive. Um, and then at the same time, all these characters were just meeting for the first time in the first movie, and now they really know each other. And so you're getting to see relationships deepen and grow and become more complicated and more interesting. Hey Lisa here with a bonus animation movie fact. Did you know that the Disney character Nemo first made his appearance in Monsters Inc? He was one of Boo's toys and that was two years before Finding Nemo was released. Now remember to stay up to date on all the latest releases by clicking here below and tapping the bell on the side for more great content. And if you like my shirt, you can get one for yourself in the link in the description.